morning everyone this is greenetics first ever youtube video um today we'll be planting some kale seeds why are the sun hot though could do this fast now just skin them over this watch him watch him oh come on not you don't worry man no soon get phone of video phone video no phone of self not you yeah man like and subscribe if you want results like this like this the first thing we need to do is to wash our trees we wash our trees because we need to get rid of bad bacteria and fungi that may affect the growth of our plants we can end up with diseases such as damping off that is when the seedlings fall over you might have seen that if you planted seedlings before it can happen to the best of us so let me just give you a short tutorial of how to wash them today we are using 72 cell trees so to wash them at you first need to spray off all the debris if you have used them before you have to spray off all the debris spray off all the dirt from what you've planted before and then you spray it with a solution of bleach and water and dish soap then give it a good spray after that make sure to wash off all the bleach and dish soap everything just give it a good cleaning better cleaning better plants in germinating seeds you have to have good lighting some people will tell you to use lights or greenhouse plastic or something but what i use is i use this white greenhouse plastic it has been working well for me you just put it in a really sunny area it keeps the, the trees cool but still provide diffuse the light if you use the other type of plastic like the clear plastic it will shine light direct leading to a hotter greenhouse causing the trees to dry out faster that is not good for germination at all second thing we need to do is to mix our soil so to make our seedling substrate as you might say we, we, we need pot inside and we need to mix that pot inside with compost i usually mix it five to one so i'm using five pounds of pot inside to one pound of compost if you don't have compost you can use rabbit manure we have to crush it first in order for it to work so here we have a five gallon bucket with the compost and another five gallon bucket with the pot inside so what we're going to do now is we're go just going to add the compost to the dry mix the pot inside we're just going to stir it around make sure it's evenly mixed Ran out of nowhere. So you want to add enough water to make it moist but not wet or soggy. Yeah, wet but not soggy. I'm just going to peel it like this. Make sure it's not soggy. Let's add a little more. Again. And also we want it to have a little weight to it. And we will see why later. So now we're actually going to add the soil mix. 
to the trees so you just want to evenly spread it over the trees like this make sure you get it into all the cells Today we're, we're doing two seed tricks. So very important not to compress the soil at all. Get it into the trees as easily as possible. Just start germinating at very delicate roots. And then we just loose medium cool to it. So we're done there because the tree is nice. So just to make sure. Okay, now we're going to make the holes for our seeds so what you need to do is to use a stick or a pencil or something to make these holes I'm using a fudge stick, an old fudge stick you need to make the holes at least a quarter inch no deeper than that no shallower than that also if you make it too shallow plants will just grow and just fall over right, so this process will take a while for me but we'll be finishing seconds for you now that we're done making our holes now we're gonna plant our seeds so what we do we just pour some out in our hand if you have a tray seeder that's very helpful and eat a lot quicker so what we're going to do, we're going to put one seed in each hole. If you have very old seeds, you can put two. Some people may even put three seeds. Now that we have planted our seeds, what we need to do now is just spread some of the leftover potting mix over the top to cover the seeds and during this spread you don't want to compress the soil at all it's a light spread the more you compress the soil harder it is for the seed to grow so just lightly cover them any excess you can just scrape it back into the bucket planting them now it's time for watering when watering the plants you want to start from out here and go in so you want to start the flow from out here and move across the tree and make sure to only make one pass over the tree You don't want to give it too much water. Right. And why you want to start from here is because as you turn over the water and can you see that large flow you don't want to, that to get on the tree. So you have to start from the end and go in like that. Okay, I recommend using rain water. So that's it.
See you in three weeks.